first convict had a callous disregard for others. Could this be the reason why he chose to sell children for money, like mere commodities? Further, that he lacked empathy and had no feelings of remorse or guilt. Today is 26th of September. There is still a reason being given trying to sanitize the criminal actions of the first case, first convict. Probation officer also noted he does not take responsibility of what he has been found guilty of and is quick to deflect blame. Absolutely correct to what has been stated before you, that he was starving and he had no other option other than to sell children. How was he starving when he is affording one of the most renowned advocates in Kenya? Being a person who was employed to take care of helpless citizens of this country. Because whether they are children or adults, they are citizens of this country. And therefore, we urge this court to take note especially of that. And to therefore render a sentence that is going to help aid the past convict to understand that others around him have rights and his rights stop where the rights of others begin. And the expose by BBC came about because there had been other cases of child selling and trafficking that had gone undetected and the first convict had been marked as one of the people engaging. So, Your Honor, this is the one case he was caught on. We do not know whether he was involved in other cases. But we are saying the magnitude of this case is bigger than what we are looking at now. And therefore, to deter Others who think children do not have a voice, cannot fight for themselves, cannot report, cannot take any action, or do not have rights, we urge the court to issue, to deliver a commensurate sentence in the bid to fight against this heinous offense of child trafficking. These children were taken to Mama Lucy Hospital, having been rescued by Good Samaritans, and others had been abandoned in the hospital. That was not the end of their life. They were meant to be adopted because we heard about the hospital procedures. Three years later, they're still in a children's home, they're not in a family setup. And the reason being that there's an ongoing criminal case. This is an effect of the actions of the convicts. The Counter Trafficking in Persons Act provides a prescribed sentence for the offense of trafficking in persons, which is a custodial sentence of 30 years or a fine of 30 years. have confidence with the courts issuing the prescribed sentence.